All right, what's up, YouTube? I'm over here. I got a new video actually being uploaded right now. Um, so I'm waiting for that to happen. Just edited it. It's going to be on, up on Thursday. I already got one coming on Monday. So I'm back on the YouTube grind. But I figured now would be a good chance to talk about and obviously make my fit mentality rant for the day. Today we're talking about overcomplicating things. Now this can apply to most people that have ever asked me a question before, ever. The ones that continue to ask me questions, this will apply to you as well. Everyone, stop overcomplicating everything. Okay, everybody comes up to me and asks me about these my, the, the smallest minor details that just don't make that big of a difference. People are so caught up in these little things because the fitness industry will have them believe Sorry, I gotta get a better angle. Fitness industry will have you believe that these little things actually matter because people are using them to sell you something or to manipulate you into never actually being fit. Therefore, you keep buying into their services or their supplements, okay? With that being said, let's say I get a question asked and you know, a common question would be, how many times a day do I have to eat? What do I have to eat on a daily basis? What kind of foods do you recommend? Uh, how much protein should I eat? Should I eat half an hour before my workout or two hours before? Should I eat uh, carbs before bed or carbs, you know, before noon? Should I cut the carbs completely? Should I eat a little more protein? Should I eat more fat? I heard fat is good for you. Is that true? Fats are healthy. Does that mean I can eat more of them and lose weight? Um, what else? Well, there's just infinite. Um, I heard it's bad to eat sugar. Um, you know, I heard that all you can eat is veggies. I heard that this diet's good. Is this diet good? How many times a day should I eat? Should I eat every two to three hours? I heard that you get the picture. Okay, I'm asking a bunch of questions that I'm sure myself and many other people in this industry get asked all the time. And the reality is, is when people ask me these questions, I'm straight up, I'm honest. And a lot of the times, I feel like that's why it doesn't register. It doesn't register because I'll say something and it'll just sound too good to be true in the sense that I'll be like, look, don't worry about how often you eat. Don't worry about how many meals. Don't worry about carbs before bed, carbs not before bed. Don't worry about, you know, what kind of foods, when, how many hours before, this, that. Just understand the concept to lose weight you eat less food to gain weight you eat more food now the more technical you get the better the results are going to be meaning if you eat if you just cut your food arbitrarily you don't actually know how many calories you're cutting out but you cut out let's say carbs chances are you're going to fall into a caloric deficit that's good but the caloric deficit is not controlled so it could be a huge caloric deficit in the sense that yeah you start losing weight you're gonna feel like complete garbage you're gonna perform like garbage and you're gonna hate life okay and you're gonna say well it's not working I cut the carbs and I can't lose any more weight that's not the case all right now same thing the other way if you want to gain muscle and you start eating a caloric surplus you start adding things in but you're not tracking you're gonna get fat okay so one extreme or the other you have to make things easy for yourself. People think that counting calories is complicated. It's not. You're complicating everything. It's very simple to lose weight. It's very simple to, to gain muscle. It's hard to do it because people don't want to apply themselves and fall victim to you know the instant gratification and the everyday pleasures that we're surrounded by. That's why it seems complicated, but in reality, if you truly want to make a change in your life, you really want to change your body, your physique, and feel better about yourself, then it's simple. You have to change the routine. You have to change what you're used to doing. Sorry if my hair looks stupid, by the way. I came out of the shower, didn't really style it or anything, but anyway. You can see I'm talking pretty quick here because I'm just this was just loaded up. I just thought of it, and I got this question asked a few times recently, you know, little minute details here and there. And I just break it down for you. Tell you honestly, you're overcomplicating it. It doesn't matter what you eat. Eat whatever you want, but eat less. Now, my ultimate advice is, well, track your food. Decrease by this many calories or try these macros. But nobody's going to do that. That's why I don't initially advise them to do that. But let's say start with a general guide. Portion control. Eat less of the foods that you already eat. 
you start noticing results, good. That means that you are able to apply yourself in a way that can actually get you to your goals. Now moving forward from there, before you plateau, I would then recommend you start tracking your calories. And from there, you can begin manipulating more and more of your nutrition to literally make your body do whatever you want it to do. That's all you need to do. You you can eat 10 meals a day, tiny little meals. You can still go over and be fat. It doesn't matter. You're wasting your time on these little things that don't mean anything. Okay, Don't waste your time. Don't waste my time. Don't waste all these fitness trainers' times. The ones that will buy into this and be like, well, you know, how many grams of protein do you eat uh, before your workout? You should be eating that anywhere between uh, 32 and 34 minutes before the workout in order to enable your hormones to produce the most anabolic response during the workout. If somebody starts getting into all that right off the bat, just... They, one, don't know what the hell they're talking about. Or two, they're wasting time because you're not going to follow what they're saying. You don't even understand what they're saying. They probably don't understand what they're saying. And or they're trying to sell you something. So that's why you bring it to me. You bring it to people that know what to do to get you in shape. Those are the people you, you listen to. Those are the people you listen to. Don't get caught up in everything this fitness industry is screaming. I know it's hard not to. But the people that tell it straight up, listen. That doesn't matter. What time? It doesn't matter. What? Doesn't matter. Eat how you feel when you're hungry. You can eat, but portion control. However much you eat usually, cut it down. Are you losing weight? No. Cut it down more. Are you losing weight? Yes. There you go. Stay there for a while and adjust accordingly. Do you weigh yourself? No. How do you know if you're losing weight? Oh, but you know the scale is not good and the numbers don't mean anything. Muscle weighs more than fat. Wrong. Weigh yourself. Manipulate your body however you want. If you need help doing this, message me. I can help coach you there. I'm not going to give you any bullshit, nothing that's going to sell you products or nothing like that. Just straight coaching service that's going to change your life forever and allow you to do it for the rest of your life, okay? Because I just want to help you do that. I want to stop allowing this, these minute, pointless this stuff getting around in the fitness industry, okay? I'm sick and tired of answering the same questions. So here it is. That's my rant for the day. Don't overcomplicate things. If you need help, message me, private message me, follow me on Instagram, message me there. Whatever it is you need, I'll help you guys out. If you want my coaching, guaranteed results as long as you follow exactly what I say. That's all I ask from you. And that's it. As you can see, I'm a little hyped up. Let's see. Uh, video's almost done rendering. So uh, this one's going to go up right now, today. When you saw this uploaded, I literally recorded it in one shot about five minutes prior. Okay, so that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you watch this far in, hopefully it's not too long. And um, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more Monday, Thursday, Saturday videos every week. Check it out. Get fit or die trying. See you guys in the next one. I'm out.